travel time curve is a time versus distance graph of the time that it takes for seismic waves to travel from the hypocenter of an earthquake or other ground shaking event to seismograph stations varying distances away. They're constructed by analyzing thousands of earthquakes from hundreds of seismograph stations around the world, and they're used by seismologists to quickly locate earthquakes. But how were they determined? To explain, we'll use a simple graph of P, S, and surface wave arrival times while exaggerating the relative motion as the waves hit the buildings representing seismic stations. Here, we show an earthquake near the top of the globe and graph the seismic wave arrival times to recording stations at increasing distances from the hypocenter, which is the location below the surface where the earthquake actually occurred. The y-axis shows distance from the earthquake and the x-axis shows the elapsed time since the event. The seismograms record the arrivals of the compressional P, the shearing S, and the rolling surface waves. These motions are also reflected in the motions of the buildings. Seismic waves travel at different rates, so the farther a seismic station is from an earthquake, the farther apart the P, S, and surface wave arrival times will be. Here, we show only direct P and S wave paths through the mantle and crust. The final image of this animation will show more of the complexity within the Earth as the waves are reflected, refracted, and damped due to changes at depth. Connecting the waves through the stack of seismograms creates the travel time curves that can be used to locate earthquakes. Simply stated, the time difference between the arrival of the P wave and the arrival of the S wave can be used to measure the distance from the seismometer to the epicenter. This iris poster of the 1994 Northridge, California earthquake reveals more of the complexity beyond just P, S, and surface waves. That earthquake killed 51 people, caused over $20 billion in damage, and raised the Santa Susana Mountains north of Los Angeles by 70 centimeters, or 28 inches. It also created seismic waves that ricocheted throughout the Earth's interior and were recorded at geophysical observatories around the world. The paths of some of those seismic waves and the ground motion that they caused are shown on the globe. <laughs>